Hey everybody, and uh, welcome to today's one a day. And it is this: your emotional blocks are your pain demic. Okay, understand what I'm trying to say. I'm saying you're creating your own pain. All right. Uh, if you take a look at it, um, they did a study in South Korea, and out of all the people tested that tested for the flu, only four percent of those people actually tested for the coronavirus. Okay. All right. So the other 96% were just the flu. Now, mind you, if you take a look at what they're showing, how many people are getting it, okay, all right? They're blowing this whole thing up. Understand something. You know what? I'm not telling you to not stay in your house. Do whatever makes you feel comfortable. But the reality is the things that I've been teaching about, uh, um, about our, our silver bullet spray and silver bullet solution and our humic and our curcumin cayenne 5000 and that you need to keep your bowels cleansing, okay? That you need to be on what we call the perfect day diet and that you need to monitor your thoughts with a little mini you on your shoulder. If you don't do this, then you're always gonna be a pandemic. Okay, because you're gonna be always running a pain program. And understand something, your emotional blocks, meaning that you're not bigger than this crisis, that you're smaller, and that this is gonna take you down, that's the disease, and you need to understand that. Now, I'm not gonna get into this in a really big way, because guess what, I don't need people throwing tomatoes at me, but guess what, this thing has been orchestrated, and it's a big economic play, and I guarantee you, the people that are right at the top, I won't mention names today, but you know what? This is a money grab, whether you like it or not. And if you think that uh, um, a virus, a dead vi which is a dead particle, is bigger than you, then you are so sadly mistaken. Now, the reality is, is if you're not healthy, if you are emotionally disraught, that virus can come in and have its way with you because everything is frequency. And you know what the frequency of a dead virus is? Nada. So the reality is if your frequency is high, meaning that you are totally taking massive action with total self-care, total self-love, but you're not, you're beating yourself up right now. Maybe you're not, but there's a lot of people out there doing it. Okay, I had some friends of mine that are really into health and they said, we just got back from Europe and you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna lock ourselves in for two weeks. We're not going out. And I go, wow, at least go out and walk in the park. You know, no, no, we're gonna do this. We wanna do our part. Are we like insane? Okay, when has nature attacked us? So the two of you can go out for a walk, go to the park. You know what? Your emotions, okay, are going to take you down. All right, and if you think, if you think that all of this anxiety is for real, look, there's such a small percentage of this that is real, okay? All right, but at the same point, I protect myself against viruses and bad bacteria and fungus and worms and all of that just by what? By having what? Empowering thoughts, staying in the present moment, eating the perfect day diet. And all of these things that everybody else is now scattering to go buy, I do those every day anyways, because I invest into the, my God-given body. You know what? You are so taught to beat yourself up, okay, that the only time that you're worth spending money on is when you're sick or you're being terrorized and you think the end of the world's coming. Think about it. What if we all started harmonizing with the natural part of us? which is our spirit. When you feed your spirit, you heal your body. We need to calm down, okay? Understand something. Everybody out there is a major puppet master now in the media, and they're just pulling your strings every which way. Am I telling you not to eat right? Am I telling you not to take things to uh, negate the virus? No, I'm not. But the reality is this. Don't believe what you see and don't believe what you hear until you do your own research, and for God's sakes, be logical. They want you to get so anxious and have so much anxiety. Do you know what people do when they want to put the screws to you? They make you lose yourself. They bring you into the past or they put you into the future of anxiety, and then you make dumb decisions. Stay connected to your breath and know this. 
that we are being played, okay, being played. Now, um, tomorrow, I'm going to have uh, Larry Langdon on. He's going to be talking about the most powerful PEMF against viruses. And anybody can do this. Anybody can pretty well afford this. And this is something that you can put any frequency on because it's all about frequencies. What you eat is all about frequencies. What you think is about frequencies. What you say is about frequencies. Are they high vibrational or are they low vibrational? Well, this device is called a sentient element. It's the most powerful thing against viruses that I believe on this planet today. And you can key it in on your phone and you can knock them out. Or you can do a blood sweep of your whole body. That'll be tomorrow on Wednesday. And then on Thursday, we'll be doing a Q&A with him so you can come on with your questions. All right? Have a beautiful day.